Hi folks, welcome to Money Ed Financial Academy. I'm Jerry Penner, your Money Ed instructor for today. Let's play a game called Thinking Rich. I'm going to give you 11 comparative statements. One statement is rich thinking, one statement is poor thinking. If you're brought up in a household with a poor person's mindset, one of these will sound more familiar than the other. You keep track of which ones you think are the way rich people think. We'll do a tally at the end. Are you ready? Go! Newsflash. You will never get rich building someone else's dream. I can't afford it turns off the thought process. How can I afford it? Engages your brain so that you can come up with a plan to afford that thing that is out of reach for today. Poor people believe what the bank tells them, that their house is their biggest asset. Well, of course it is. It's an asset to the bank because they can take possession of it if you stop paying the mortgage. The difference between an asset and a liability is whether it makes you money or costs you money. If you're renting out rooms in your house and the income is greater than all the expenses for the house, then the house is an asset. Otherwise, it's a liability. Rich people are greedy is a mantra practiced by poor people. Rich people have the funds available to do what poor people cannot. Rich people can create hospital or university wings. They can devote money to inventing things that don't yet exist, making the world a better place. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation allocated over three quarters of a billion dollars to wipe out malaria by the use of mosquito nets over beds. This would not have been possible if Bill had not created Microsoft and turned it into the megacorp that it is today. Here's something else to think about. On a global scale, if you're earning $30,000 a year, that's $15 an hour full time, you are in the top 10%. In Bangladesh, the minimum wage is a little under $15 USD a month. That minimum wage earner there thinks that you are rich. Rich people understand that nobody cares more about how their investments are performing than they do. Warren Buffett doesn't have a 401k. He doesn't invest in mutual funds. If one of the richest investors on the planet doesn't invest that way, why should you? Every time you give money to your financial planner to put into mutual funds in your RRSP, your financial planner gets a cut. They get a cut every month. If the market goes up or down, they still get their cut. If the market tanks, does your financial planner give you a refund? No! The investor puts up all the capital, takes all the risk, and reaps part of the reward. Ever tried talking to your financial planner about taking your money out of their hands and moving it elsewhere? They don't want that. It hurts their ability to put their own children through college. If your savings and investments aren't making at least as much as the rate of inflation, your savings and investments are getting smaller each year. Kevin O'Leary gave me this great visual to describe this. If your money isn't generating revenue or dividends, it's just sitting on the couch, watching TV, and eating bonbons. I treat every dollar like a soldier, sent out to capture other dollars and bring them back to me. If you have your money in a high-interest savings account at a big bank, it's probably generating between 0.1% and 1%. The Bank of Canada aims to keep inflation at 2%. By keeping your money in a savings account, you are losing, not saving. Look, the government owes you nothing. The government is the one organization that takes in revenue and spends more than it generates. The government can change the rules at any time without your permission. They can increase your taxes, spend money on things you don't like, 
even cut your pension if they feel like it. If you want security in retirement, you need to provide that for yourself. Treat any pension that the government might give you as a bonus. Investing doesn't have to be complicated. If you can do grade 5 math, you can handle your own investments. If you have the capacity to learn and can find people who know more about investing than you do, they can teach you. Some people associate higher returns with higher risk. This is the sort of thinking that mutual funds sales folks use. If you know how to invest, higher returns are possible without additional risk. There's a reason why your financial planner is called a mutual fund broker. It's because he's broker than you. My brother had his RRSP investments with a well-known broker for years. One day he actually sat down and studied his statements and he noticed that his investments were growing at a terrific rate even when the market was tanking. How is this possible? The broker was doing a little mathematical trickery. He wasn't just including the dividends and mutual fund price increases in the growth calculation, he was also including the monthly contributions my brother was making. When he recalculated without his contributions, the investments were going down in value, not up. It didn't take him long to pull his money out and put it elsewhere. It does take money to make money, but it doesn't have to be your money. That's the whole premise of the TV show uh, Dragon's Den and Shark Tank. It's the reason why banks exist. Other people's time is also known as a job. When Virgin Records started, it was one guy in a basement mailing albums to people. Eventually, the business got so busy, he had to hire someone to help him. Then another, and another. And then he made enough money on that venture to fund others. Sir Richard Branson is now a billionaire, and there's no possible way he could have gotten there by himself. When building a business, the boss should be the dumbest person in the room. The smart and highly skilled people should be the ones doing the boots on the ground work. If this is not the case, the workers will never be able to do the work to the satisfaction of the boss, and he will end up doing or redoing it. This is not scalable. Guess what? All the rich thinking statements were on the right side. How many did you get? Leave your answer in the comments.